Agri 12 student, so in this video, we are going to do a manufacturing. So I pick one of the previous question paper. So this one is was uh, November 2020. Okay, this question paper or this question is also suitable for June examination uh, preparation. Okay, so it's cost to accounting, which we also know uh, it as a manufacturing. All right, let's read the number one. They said perfect fit manufacturer the business produce a formal sheet or shirt uh, the financial year ended 28 february 2021 and the required 2.1.1 prepare production cost statement this is the format that you need to know okay then 2.1.2 we have to calculate gross profit and markup okay let's go straight to production cost statement okay so when you calculate production cost to statement, guys, know the format like you did when you prepare income statement and balance it. You start with direct material plus direct labor, which is going to give you a prime cost. And you add product effect overhead, which we also call it indirect cost. Indirect cost. Okay, then it's going to give you, when you add this one, it's going to give you total manufacturing. And you take opening balance under work in progress, you subtract balance at the end, then it's going to give you total cost of production. It's very simple. Only allocate items that are fall under production. <laughs> All items that fall under production or manufacturing. Just record them here. Administrative and selling and distribution don't include any, uh, any expense under this account. Okay. Let's check. They give us stock on hand. Then balance at the beginning, work in progress, we have it is 208. It's fine. You can start anyway, guys. As long as if you have available balance, you can just record. Balance at the end, we're going to put it here, but we don't have it. Okay. Then let's proceed. Finish goods, we're going to do it when we calculate a uh, cost of sales. Okay. Number B. The bookkeeper calculated the cost below. Some errors were made. Direct material before any error has been made. It was 1,500,000. Uh, We're going to check the transaction. Then uh, direct labor. They didn't give us anything. We're going to go to transaction. Okay, let's start by this part first of prime cost. If we quickly go to number D. They said the prime cost is 2,550,000. 2,550,000. It was given a prime cost in this question paper. Okay. Then, now let's check. Our um, transaction number one under number C. Payment to quick delivery of 75,000 for carriage on raw material. You know that a delivery or we can also call it a transport or carriage and purchase it must also included under direct material okay they said it was incorrectly allocated to selling and distribution it was supposed to be here and they recorded under selling and distribution by mistake which means that if we were also required to prepare selling and distribution we we're going to subtract it that side and it added this side plus seventy five thousand because it's belong here Okay, but because in this case we don't have selling and distribution question, we are not going to subtract it anyway. We're just going to add it here and it's going to give us 1,650,000. Uh, Obviously, they are not going to give us direct labor because they give us prime cost, which means that we just have to take this one minus this one and it's going to give us 900,000. 900,000. Simple. Now let's go to our factory overhead okay a factory overhead amount that we've been given initially uh, is amount of 518,800 then after that we need to check transaction number two under number c error and omission the entire insurance amount of 25,000 was transferred to administrative cost and we were supposed to do two-thirds of this expense will be allocated to factory. Two over three of 25,000 is the one that we're supposed to be allocated to factory overhead. What do we do now? Because it was already 
uh, recorded, which means that uh, it was already transferred to administrative. We were going to subtract that side because that side of admin we don't have required here. We're just going to allocate our 2 over 3 by saying, uh, let me calculate it here. I'm going to wrap. We're going to say 25,200 by 2 over 3. Then it's going to give you amount of plus 16,000. It's belong here. We have to add it. 16,800. This is how you calculate it. Very simple. Let's wrap so that we can have a space for other allocation. Okay. We are not done with factory overheads. Blade number three. Factory overhead cost include amount of 117600 for water and electricity. The bookkeeper had incorrectly allocated this expense to factory, administrative and selling distribution at a ratio of 6, 3, 1. And the correct ratio is 5, 4, 1. What do we do now? Very simple. Firstly, this 117, you need to know that it's not a total, but it's 6. That has been allocated to factory overhead, and we have to. Uh, we were supposed to allocate five. So what do we do in this case? Is either you can say one one seven six hundred multiplied by. We are looking for five out of six. Okay, let me calculate this and confirm. One one seven six hundred multiplied by five over six. Okay. 98,000 is the one uh, that was supposed to be allocated. They were supposed to allocate uh, the lesser amount and they wanted they recorded 117. Do we have to record 98,000? No, because 117 was already recorded, which means that they record a higher amount. We need to just subtract the different. Okay, if you subtract 117 uh, by 98, we have to get amount of 19,600. The reason why we are subtracting is because they, uh, they, they, they recorded higher amount instead of, of lower amount. If they recorded lower amount instead of higher, we're going to add so that it's, it's going to be equal to the amount that was supposed to be recorded. Very simple. Okay. So this was 16 marks uh, for free. Okay, now we can close because we don't have any other transition. Uh, then you will, you're gonna get amount of 516,000. Just like that. Okay, so before we proceed, I hope you already enjoy. Please, guys, make sure that you subscribe so that this video will, will reach more learners that want to learn. A great 12. Remember, great 12, guys, is very important to everyone, to future of everyone, because if you don't have a good results for great 12, a lot of doors are going to be closed. So, in order for this video to reach more people, it's because you guys, you, you keep liking, you keep subscribing. The more you like, you are helping someone uh, to be recommended this video, because YouTube is going to see that this video is very useful. So, please, to like uh, it's very important to someone's life. Let's do so and subscribe. Okay, moving to the next one. Now we are going to total manufacturing. We just add these two, and you're gonna get amount of three million and uh, let me check three million and sixty-six thousand. Just like that. Okay, now we left with this balance and this balance. We have to get one so that we can get the other one as a balancing fig. Okay, we can, because they didn't give us work in progress at the end, we can find this one. Number E, 7,600 shirts were produced by unit cost of 420. We're just going to multiply these two. And 7,600 multiplied by 420. Uh, which is going to give us 3,192,000. Now it's going, it's going to be simple. We just have to get total after this one. 
then we're gonna get our opening balance you add these two you're gonna get three two nine six thousand and after that we get the difference between these two then closing stock is always minus guys one of all uh, thousand just like that this is how you prepare production cost statement but you have to make sure that you watch my other videos of manufacturing so that you will learn other uh, transition because transition are different uh, if you check uh, other question paper as well but let's go to the next one one two point one point two gross profit gross profit we have to use the simple formula which is sales minus cost of sales okay let's start by sales because it's going to be simple for us sales uh, we have it under number e is four million eight hundred and sixty thousand minus cost of sales of how much how, how do how are we going to calculate cost of sales it's very simple you take opening your finished goods plus total cost of production and you subtract closing of finished goods okay let's do it uh opening opening of finished goods is three forty two thousand plus three million one hundred ninety two thousand and we subtract closing closing guys they give us 400 shirt you just said 400 shirt my matter by 420 420 we got it under number e because they said it's 420 each we just, we just buy multiply by number of shirt of 400 then we're gonna get um an amount of 168 if you do this you're going to get a cost of sales uh, of three million three hundred and sixty six thousand sales minus cost of sales is gonna give you a gross profit of one million one hundred and ninety four thousand very simple the last one markup achieved okay those who want to join our extra class guys it's still six rand per month to everyone we make it cheap so that everyone can be able to afford it so just text us on whatsapp and when you text us on whatsapp guys please i have a lot of message i won't be able to respond a lot of message if you want to know how uh, our class work i did a video just go to playlist and check how our class uh, our class work and everything and even the documents that i'm going to share to you on whatsapp you just you just have to read everything is there okay because if you keep asking a lot of message you will find that uh, i'm not responding because i have a lot of text so if you just make a payment and you send me a proof i'm just gonna simply add you to whatsapp group and the telegram group that we do a live video every sunday okay a markup achieved guys you have to use the formula which is called a gross profit divided by cost of sales gross profit we have it we calculate it is this one is one for two nine four hundred and then you divide by the cost of sales cost of sales we calculate it here yeah? is three three six six thousand then you multiply by hundred then it's gonna give you forty four comma four percent that's how uh, this question people are simple so i'm gonna keep recording more videos especially for those who won't be able to afford a class it doesn't mean that you're not going to learn guys i will i keep keep and recording more videos so that those who won't be able to afford our extra class will still learn something okay i'm gonna see you on the next one